In the past 20 to 30 years, you wouldn't be hard pressed to find a manga or anime that hasn't reached a measure of international success. However, among those, very few have attained the level of popularity and influence like that of Dragon Ball. Now when you hear the name Dragon Ball, you may immediately think of the anime series Dragon Ball Z, but before that, there was the manga. And while Z covered the later events of the original source material, there was another anime series which adapted the beginning of it, consisting of 153 episodes and sharing the same title as its basis. Dragon Ball was the anime that would shape the future of the series into how we know it today. Coming off the success of the series Dr. Slump, creator and manga artist Akira Toriyama began writing the one-shot manga Dragon Boy, following the encouragement of his then-editor Kazuhiko Torishima to make something more action-oriented that incorporated his love of Jackie Chan and martial arts films. Following Dragon Boy's release, the two-chapter story was met with an exceptionally high ranking and popularity prompting Toriyama to redevelop it into a full series which would become Dragon Ball. This new manga would first debut in the 51st issue of Weekly Shonen Jump in 1984, which was then adapted into an anime series premiering on February 26, 1986. Dragon Ball initially tells the story of a socially isolated boy named Son Goku after he meets an eccentric city girl named Bulma, who then embark on a journey in search of seven Dragon Balls, which, when collected, will grant any one wish and along the way, they find more people who aid in their journey. In telling this story, Toriyama originally drew inspirations from the Chinese novel Journey to the West. The most prominent of the novel's influences can be seen in the characters themselves, most notably Goku. Being directly influenced by the character Sun Wukong from Journey to the West, a monkey and powerful fighter, Goku shares certain traits such as having a monkey-like tail and being an exceptionally strong and capable fighter. He also has a pole that can change its length and a cloud which he uses to fly, much like Sun Wukong. Outside of Goku, other characters in the story only have minor ties to Journey to the West, ranging from role, to appearance, to personality. Another major influence that was brought to Dragon Ball was the setting, largely taking place in locations that resembled rural China, most prominently, China's unique mountain ranges. Each of these ideas were taken to make Dragon Ball stand out from the more conventional settings that were prevalent at the time. And for a while, the lighthearted adventure series did stand out, and managed to gain a following. But over time, the series became less and less popular, which resulted in the editor Kazuhiko Torishima confronting Toriyama about readers not liking the direction of the manga. This set the stage for the first major shift in Dragon Ball's format and Toriyama moved the series away from the multi-character adventure and focused more on Goku, incorporating more battles into the story, including a large fighting tournament, a decision he knew would garner a lot of attention. This change in direction gained a more favorable reception among fans, and over the years, more tweaks would be made to cater to this. The story would shift in a way that would bring Goku's quest to become stronger to the forefront, while the Dragon Balls themselves became more of a backdrop, or even unrelated. And later down the line, the comedic elements were toned down and the definitive villain was created in King Piccolo, a more evil character than any of the previous antagonists, and whose background brought about the science fiction elements that the series would later be known for. But while the manga continued to find success, the anime adaptation would see a ratings decline over time. Editor Torishima comments that the production team was largely to blame, having only worked on one other series, being the anime for Dr. Slump, which was also fairly unsuccessful. It was also noted that the producer at the time was adapting Dragon Ball too closely to Dr. Slump, viewing it as being something cute and funny, missing the more serious tone that was written in the manga. When they realized this, the biggest change yet would be made and affect the series as a whole. Torishima would again take the lead in making these changes, speaking with the writer and director of the more popular Saint Seiya anime. It was after this that he would decide to talk to Dragon Ball's animation studio about getting an entirely new production team to reboot the series. It was also around this time that Akira Toriyama wished to redesign Goku's appearance from a young child to a more grown adult, in order to make the battles more believable and flow better, with Goku having a larger structure. After some debate, the changes were approved. With the shift in production team and Goku's new appearance, everything culminated into a fresh start for Dragon Ball. 
Because of this, it was suggested that the Dragon Ball anime take on a new name, and when asked, Akita Toriyama suggested Dragon Ball Z, stating, nothing comes after this. And I think we all know how that turned out. With the new series came nearly unending success, spawning games, toys, and even new anime well after the original manga's end. But even with the series being as big as it's become, it was something that took years to develop, and at the start of all of that, it will always have its small beginnings as Dragon Ball. Like this video and want to support the channel? Check out the custom t-shirt designs made for this episode, and be sure to subscribe if you'd like to see similar content. Thank you guys for watching, and we also want to thank the team at Chalk Co. for their outstanding motion graphics and editing used to make this episode.